Here we are in D2L and I'm impersonating Winston Churchill. So he's a student in my course and this is what my course looks like to him. Again, this is a test course. So we're just showing you a couple of tips and tricks using this fake course. So let's say I wanted to email my instructor or another classmate. How do I do that? Well, I can come up here to the email area and read my email and see what I've sent, etc. But that doesn't really help me find somebody's address in order to connect with them and communicate with them. So instead, I'm going to go to the class list and I am going to click on the name of the person that I want to send an email to. So there are two instructors for this course, Jessica Eddington and Troy McKee. So if I wanted to send an email to Troy, then I can click on his name and it's going to bring up the email address per se. It doesn't really look like a normal email address. And then it's going to bring up the subject, which is the name of my course. So I can type him a message. I can also upload a file. Just be careful because you can't really upload really big, massive files. So if you try to do that, it won't really attach there. So I can write my message and then hit send. Now, the thing I want to tell you, though, is that D2L um, email is internal only, which means that the instructor has to get into D2L in order to see your email and respond to your email. And you have to be in D2L to also respond to theirs or other classmates. So a lot of instructors usually use their external email, their morgancc.edu email. So I highly recommend that you use your .edu external student email to communicate with instructors and not D2L, but it really depends on what your teacher prefers. Um, but if for some reason you send a message to your instructor and it doesn't seem like they've gotten it, then I highly recommend that you go use your student email to email their actual college email and not, not just rely on this D2L internal email. So the same thing goes if you wanted to email a couple of people in your course. And in fact, if you wanted to, let's say, um, Rufus and Abe and Ronald Reagan were in my group with me and I wanted to email all three of them, then just by checking next to their name and then clicking email, I can send an email to all three.